Bentornati al Bolo Nice, grandissimo evento di pattinaggio su ghiaccio a livello internazionale, qui stanno per prendere la pista, le stelle, i campioni olimpici, i campioni italiani più forti del mondo. Guardate questo poster, questa locandina dell'evento, è straordinaria anche perché loro sono i neocampioni olimpici, ma chi l'avrà mai fatta una foto così bella? Vilma, vieni qua, voilà. armata della sua della macchina mia... fotografica con teleobiettivo di due metri no dai della mia creatura sono veramente orgogliosa intanto perché amo moltissimo questi due pattinatori ma perché abbiano scelto la mia foto per, per rappresentare Bolonais è, Quindi meraviglioso. è un onore e un piacere e ora è sono stata scelta proprio sì sì Beh, comunque questa foto è veramente favolosa eh, insomma Papadakis e eh, 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 Cisderon sono so, due artisti oltre ad essere due grandi atleti guarda Guardate le espressioni, guardate il momento, anche la, la, la posizione che sei riuscita a catturare, un perfect shot, giusto? Ti ringrazio, sei molto gentile. Comunque con loro è sempre una magia sul ghiaccio, veramente. È difficile non prendere uno scatto buono perché sono talmente bravi, abili. È tutto perfetto, ogni momento e movimento. Il momento è veramente scelto e studiato e poi loro sono degli interpreti favolosi, quindi non è solo tecnica ma è anche artistica e loro hanno tanto da, di, tanto da dare. E grandi, emozioni, e grandi emozioni ci regala la locandina del Bolo Nice che ha realizzato assolutamente lei, Vilma, ma tu a noi non ce le fai le foto? E ve le farò, va bene. Ci farà le foto? Ve le farò. Arrivederci. Um, ok, we, we are absolutely happy because this uh, couple is uh, the history of the, the skating. We, uh, the, quest, the first question is uh, the first time for you to, to come in Bologna, in this town? Uh, yes, it is the first time actually. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you? Uh, yeah, first time. Okay. Is it exciting to perform uh, like tonight uh, in front of such a large uh, audience uh, in Bolo Nice uh, after pandemic? Yeah, it's been very, uh, very nice doing shows after the pandemic and this show actually was supposed to happen two years ago and we were very disappointed when it, you know, the pandemic happened and it got cancelled so we're very, very happy to be here tonight. Yeah, same. We're, we're same. always yeah. No, but, um, I mean, the city is nice. The venue is very nice. We're always happy to perform in Italy. So it's a beautiful country with a beautiful audience as well. So it's a pleasure. You have won as a couple uh, the, just uh, the Olympic Games. You have won everything in your career. Career and uh, you reinvented this uh, this uh, sport and rewrote the history. Uh, what about your future? <laughs> um, we're taking a year off to uh, do only shows and uh, you know meet the public uh, everywhere around Europe and uh, we're not sure what our next goal is I think we will take time to enjoy this and yes. doing shows and we'll see we'll see about the future okay. about the future Um, yeah, we'll see. Also, we're taking this time to enjoy doing shows. It's different from what we've always done competing. Um, we'll see. Okay. We know that you are a chore choreographer too, uh, right? Well, I, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> who are you, uh, who are, uh, you working with uh, this period? Uh, I've been working this season with the French couple uh, and some other students in Montreal at the art school, the, the place where we usually train. Yeah. In uh, your sport, uh, uh, outside there, uh, are there any couples that you think is a coupe de foudre for you, uh, that uh, you, for you are um, a little bit interesting? Uh, I mean, all of our ex-competitors, they're very good, they, they have done some very interesting uh, work uh, this year, so I think it's, it's going to be a, a big competition to see who wins the world championships and we're excited to watch it, for sure. Uh, thank you very much and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you, thank you very much.
he asked me if I know who you are. Everybody knows uh, <laughs> who you are. You are an incredible, such talented uh, skater and so young you rewrote uh, the history of this sport uh, and uh, you are able to do the quad axel. It's incredible. Uh, do you understand what you are doing? <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's a very good achievement for me and it always helps me to push myself and to be better than I am. And I'm just really happy that I'm here in Italy. It's yes. a very beautiful place and I just love it. There's so many people who enjoy figure skating here and I'm grateful to be performing in front of them. Okay. And also uh, because after the pandemic uh, you can uh, perform in front of such a large uh, audience uh, like tonight. Uh, it's different to perform in front of the audience or in a uh, place uh, empty? Yeah, it is really different at first when I skated when there was no one there. It was really weird and comfortable. And when everyone started coming back in, it was a really good feeling. You could hear the crowd cheering during your performances and you could go to shows where people would watch and it was a lot of fun. Is it more, more emotion, adrenaline? Yeah, a lot of more emotion and adrenaline and okay. it's just you, an amazing time. Absolutely. Your parents were um, champions of skating too, and uh, your father, your uh, father is also your trainer. How is it? How is it to have the trainer at home? I mean, both my parents coach me, so they're both okay. there, and it's again it's normal for you. Yeah, I think it's very normal for me now. It's uh, we always have fun at home, and sometimes it's always talk about skating all day. So okay. it's sometimes it's, immersion. Yeah, I. I still enjoy it's very fun it's yes. very easy to understand how they feel about you and if you're having a good day or not okay. uh, crazy question are you planning uh, a quintuple jump in your mind are you training something like quintuple five rotations <laughs> well I mean right now it's uncertain whether I'm thinking about it or not but I do have it in the back of my mind as a okay. goal in a way so I think maybe when the season's over we'll start trying it a bit more. Okay. How do you cope with the pressure before a competition? What do you do? I always just think to myself, you know, believe in myself and believe in my training and everything that I've worked for in all the practices and just think of it as a practice when I go on and skate, like perform. Good luck for everything. Thank you very much.